Here is an example of in which the Afghan people were the first victims of terrorism. And my colleagues, my friends in this room, the Afghans that are with me and myself, we have been telling them. And we are happy with the result of the conference that we had yesterday and today. And I hope we can go back to our people to give them the good news. And I also hope that the pledges that were made by the international community are made true immediately in the coming days so that we can begin the process of reconstruction and take the country forward. It will be a samurai against corruption. Of, uh, uh, I will make sure, uh, sir, that the money that comes for aid is not utilized by individuals or by groups or by anybody, that it goes to the Afghan people. And if it doesn't go, you will see that we will make it known. There's no way that that can be allowed. Absolutely no way. We need to strengthen the nation state of Afghanistan and strengthen it in all aspects, in all aspects that is necessary to uh, prevent the return of terrorism, to prevent their uh, using the poverty that's there lingering now still in Afghanistan, and to provide the Afghan people with an opportunity to stand back on their feet so that they are in control of their own destiny their own borders and their government, and do well in economy, and thereby prevent the bad people from coming back to Afghanistan. pledges and contributions of over 1.8 billion US dollars for 2002 were announced. Uh, some donors made multi-year pledges and commitments of various time frame, frames and the cumulative amount was more than 4.5 billion dollars. Comment vous estimez uh, les années de la reconstruction? Est-ce que c'est Things don't move on a straight line. There are zigzaggings. And even if there are some dif dif difficulties on the road, we shouldn't give up. Because if the, if the conference attendees here give up, that means the Afghan people will have a, worse, a very bad time. I think, you know, with time and persistence, usually things move. I think uh, everybody has come through. This is a, a really a defining moment for Afghanistan, and the entire world community has supported it. So we are all very pleased. Thank you. Eventually, the security of the Afghanistan has to be maintained by the National Army of Afghanistan. So the first thing to do is to establish the National Army and National Police to take care of the security of Afghanistan and to prepare ground for their construction.